see, that's the question. How can I decide not to decide? How can I announce that I won't make any announcement without making an announcement? You see, there is no way out of that bind. Try as you may. You go on and on and on, trying as Herigl did to release the bowstring without thinking first to release it. But then, strangely enough, one day the thing happened. He did it. And this is involved in our learning <coughs> of almost all techniques. That we work and work to achieve that final point of perfection. And it doesn't come, it doesn't come, and then one day it happens. Now what is the reason for that? Is it simply, and this is really, you know, a way it's usually explained, but this is an oversimplification. <clears throat> it is not that we have practiced it so often that it suddenly becomes perfect. It is much more subtle than that. What happens is that we've practiced so often that we find out we can't do it. And it happens at the moment you know you can't do it. When you reach a certain point of despair, when you know that you are the one weird child who will never be able to swim, at that moment you're swimming. Because the desperation and the total inability to do it at all has brought you to a point which we might call don't care. You stop trying, you stop not trying, trying to get it that way, you just uh, 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 have arrived at the insight that your decision, your will, doesn't have any part in the thing at all. And that's what you needed to know. In the past few weeks I was struggling to sleep. The situation was getting worse and worse at the point where I couldn't sleep even after taking sleeping pills. The introspective side of me then started wondering what changed inside of me that I'm now losing sleep? I mean, I found my peace. I am grateful to life for all the wonderful things it offers me. I enjoy my life. Then what is it? And you see, God or the universe or life or whatever you want to call it knows when to give us the answers that we are looking for. We just need to pay attention. Accidentally, even though I do not believe in accidents, I do believe that everything happens for a reason, I ran into this audio recording in which the great British philosopher and writer Alan Watts shares his wisdom. I listen to Watts often and I relate a lot to his ideas. I would recommend you to look for audio recordings on YouTube as you might find his findings valuable. And while I was listening I suddenly understood where I took the wrong turn. I started going from being extremely organized to extremely controlling. I needed to have everything under control to make sure that all the things are going according to the plan, that nothing is left to chance. I kind of have the impression that if things are not properly controlled by me, then they cannot go well. Who knows what might happen? So I was planning every detail and started having all sorts of expectation from myself and others. And when I wasn't getting what I was hoping, I was feeling very frustrated and disappointed. I knew then that something wasn't right and Alan Watts was my trigger. The reality is that we cannot 
I repeat, we cannot have everything under control. And I will add that luckily that it is so. During the time when I needed to control everything, I couldn't sleep because of the burden I was carrying. Everything felt so heavy, so many things that I had to decide, so many responsibilities on my shoulders. I would not be able to live my whole life like that. It would be too much. So thankfully, some things are out of our control. That is a gift that life makes us. In certain situations, life is carrying the burden for us. And it's not about being lazy or not wanting to do anything. It's about doing what you can, then letting go and trusting that things will turn out the way they should. The least you are expecting for things to happen, the more likely it is that they will happen. How many times things started moving exactly when you were ready to give up? In my case, more than I can count. And I realize that the harder I try, the least results I have. Then, when I can't bear it anymore and let go, everything starts to flow again. So, I am practicing the art of letting go now. And for a controlling person like me, that's not easy. But with daily practice, I will get better and better. And let me tell you that I can sleep again now and my nightmares turned into sweet dreams and I wake up smiling again. I am happy that I had the opportunity to learn even this important lesson which I know that it will change my life. I am now letting go.